Good evening, everyone. Um, wanted to show off setting up Expo and dual rates uh, on the 18SC uh, for helicopters. This is also usable on the uh, 16SC. So, uh, got a new model here. Nothing's been touched on it, and I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, you know, usually what I what I do is I set this up for conditions. So if you're a normal or idle up or, or throttle hold, you have a dual rater expo set for that flying mode. Um, also showing showing here how to use a switch uh, if you want to do a switch setup. So uh, first, um, go into here, go into AFR, and you'll see in here it shows the expo curves, offsets, rates for dual rates and expo. Um, I usually uh, don't bother changing this, um, but what I would do is uh, with it separate, you can adjust A and B separately. So you'll notice like that adjusts, but that doesn't adjust. So I'll usually make that from separate to combined. That way, when I change it, you see it's changing both same time because we typically do dual rates are equal on both sides. And as you can see, I'm changing aileron. So, uh, give it 20. Click out. Okay. If I want to change the rudder, go over here, select aileron, rudder, go back to page one, and let's give it 20. Ah, as you can see, there's that thing about separate and combined. Combined 20. Let's give it a, a slower rate. So, there's a slower rate. Um, and that was normal mode. If you want to do idle, you can flip the switch for idle and you'll see it say idle up one. You also see the curve change and you can adjust your rudder for idle up one. I'll go back here. So, that's setting up uh, dual rates following your conditions. Um, conditions can be seen here under condition select. And you got, you know, of course, a stock five. So, if you want to use a switch, um, first up is the dual rate. Now, uh, before I go uh, much further on this, I'll explain that these dual rates also are locked to functions. So, right now, we're going to do dual rate 1 for normal. Right now, it's inhibited and it's set to aileron. So, let's set a switch of SB. I'll set it to be on in the middle and off in the others. So, and then change that from inhibited to off, and I'll flip the SB switch, and you show it's on. Now, a moment ago, I just mentioned that conditions would change this, so I'm going to flip from normal to idle up one, and you see it goes inhibited, you don't see a switch anymore. Um, this is, you know, the, the power of 18SZ, that you can do dual rates in Expo uh, with a switch per flight condition, so there's a lot of adjustability here. Um, not something you typically use, but if you really want to, the power is there. Um, so I've got this set up on aileron. Let's go back and we're going to go back into AFR. And you notice I'm going to change to aileron, which is what we were adjusting. Go back to page one. And you notice it's a curve from earlier. And I'm going to flip the SB switch. And you know it's going to go from uh, AFR aileron to dual rate one aileron. And there's your settings for dual rate one aileron, and you can adjust them. But you'll also notice if I go from normal to idle up one, it goes back to AFR aileron for idle up one. So there's how to set up uh, Expo and dual rate to be locked to the conditions, and also add in a switch if you want to add in even more dual rate and uh, dual rates and Expo options per condition. Uh, if you have any other questions, uh, hit me up on uh, forums or Facebook. Uh, thank you.